Good morning and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Kalkine TV Sydney Studios. Now the Australian share market is expected to fall at the open following a dismal start to the week on Wall Street. According to the latest spy features, the ASX 200 is likely to open 8 points or 0.1% lower. At the closing bell yesterday, the S&P ASX 200 was 1% lower or 72 points lower at 7,039. The best performing sector yesterday was energy up 5.2%, and the worst performing sector was the tech sector, down at 4.7%. The best performing stock in the S&P SX200 was Woodside Petroleum. Their shares closed 9.5% higher at $34.41. The worst performing stock was Block. They closed at 10.3% lower at $137.28. Moving on to some business news from this morning now, and Telix Pharmaceuticals has reported today that 252 patients have been dosed for a pivotal stage 3 study of investigational kidney cancer with the imaging agent TLX250CDX. Now this agent is an investigational product for the imaging of clear cell renal cell carcinoma with position emission tomography. It has received breakthrough designation from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. t expects to report the outcome from the Zircon study in the second half of 2022. And the Pacific Smiles Group reports that persistent COVID-19 infection numbers continue to have an impact on patient attendance to their centres. But February has performed better than January. Total patient fees from the 1st of January to the 28th of February this year were 5.2% lower than for the same period in 2021. Over the last week, several of their centres in Queensland and northern New South Wales have been impacted by floods. That's except for Lismore. All centres have now reopened and are operating. Of course, Lismore is still suffering from terrific floods. Now, the company remains on track to open between 15 and 20 new centres across Australia in financial year 2022. Well, now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Crypto talk by Kalkine. The crypto market has been red hot given the Bitcoin rally since the past year. And now the most famous cryptocurrency has got competitors, Dogecoin and Ethereum. If the crypto market excites you, tune in with me, Sage, to know the latest developments about the existing digital currencies and the new ones that are joining the race. I'll help you understand the opportunities and the risks the crypto market has in store for you. For all the digital currency related developments, continue watching Crypto Talk by Kalkine. And welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones fell 2.37%. The S&P 500 declined 2.95% and the Nasdaq ended 3.62% lower. Brent crude briefly hit more than 139 US dollars a barrel. That's its highest level since 2008. Nickel prices rocketed 90% and gold broke through the 2,000 an ounce and wheat soared to a 14-year high. In the US, investors are closely watching the consumer prices report due on Thursday. The data is expected to show core US CPI for February rose 6.4% year on year, up from 6% in January. Over in Europe, the stock's 50 fell 1.2%, the FTSE declined 0.4%, CAC slipped 1.3% and the DAX dipped 2%. Oil prices rose yesterday to their highest levels as U.S. and European allies considered banning Russian oil imports. Brent crude futures settled up 4.3 percent at 123 U.S. dollars and 21 cents a barrel. WTI settled up 3.22 percent at 119 U.S. dollars and 40 cents a barrel. Demand for safe haven assets supported the precious metal, with spot gold rising 1.3 percent to 1,993 US dollars an ounce after earlier scaling its highest 
since the 19th of August 2020 at over 2,000 US dollars. Meanwhile, nickel last traded up 76% at over 50 US thousand dollars a ton. Russian supplies around 10% of the world's nickel. Now that's all for the Morning Outlook Report here on Kalkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.